Thank you for purchasing your Simply Elegant retractable screen. This video will cover the full size and retro outswing French door installation. Item numbers 22101 and 22102. For this video, we will be demonstrating a full size installation. Step 1, Part A. Confirm your door width and height. Your full size door width should be approximately 74 inches wide by 81 inches high for a full size 6.0 retractable screen. If your door is a retro, it will be approximately 79 inches high by 72 inches wide. Step 1, Part B. Verify the following components are included in the box. Parts are listed from left to right. Part 1, screen housing marked A and D. Part 2, screen housing marked B and C. Part 3, header top screen track marked A and B. Part 4, sill bottom screen track marked C and D. Part 5, header and sill screen track covers. There should be two. Part 6 and 7, hardware and instructions. Step 1, Part C. Make sure to have all the tools required before you begin the installation. You should have on hand a level, a square, tape measure, a screwdriver, both Phillips and flathead, a pencil, a drill, and a hacksaw. Step 2, Assembly Preparations. Very important. Before proceeding to assembly, please look at the back of the header and sill screen tracks, items 3 and 4. There you will find the number 60, 510, 54, and 50 printed on each end of both tracks. These numbers correspond to the door unit size that the screen will fit onto. Depending on the size of the door unit on which this system is being installed, you may need to cut both ends on the line that corresponds with your door unit size. We are demonstrating the 60 size, which does not require cutting for this video. If you are installing a 510, 54, or 50 door, you would have to cut on both ends. For 510 retro only, 54 or 50 doors, you will need to cut the header and sill screen tracks, item 3 and 4, and the header and sill screen track covers, item 5, on both ends. Using a hacksaw, saw the header screen track, item 3, on the line, 510 retro only, 54, or 50 that corresponds to your door size. The track must be cut on both sides. Repeat for the sill screen track, item four. Now saw the header and sill screen track covers, item five, to match. Step three, assembly. Place all the items from the box on the floor in front of the patio or single door where the screen is to be installed. The screen housings, items 1 and 2, and header and sill screen tracks, items 3 and 4, should line up with their corresponding letters in a clockwise fashion, AA, BB, C to C, and D to D. Slide the header top and sill bottom screen tracks onto the slide guides of both screen housings, items 1 and 2. It is very important that these lock in place correctly. Lock in a clockwise fashion is indicated AA, BB, CC and D to D. The screen frame unit is now prepped and ready for locking the assembly together. Using the number 8 by 1 half inch Phillips head tapping screws, item 6C, lock both screen housings, item 1 and 2, to both the header, top, and sill bottom screen tracks, items 3 and 4 by tightening. Repeat for all four corners. Step 4 Installation. Utilizing a screwdriver or putty knife, remove all trim molding, if present, from the interior side of both the door frame and the door sill before installing the double retractable screen. This will provide a uniform surface around the frame of the door for installation. In this video, we are demonstrating a 6 and 9 16 inch jam. Therefore, a 2 inch outswing sill extension was used to make the surface uniform. This extension would not be needed with a 4 and 9 16 inch jam. Now move the assembled screen unit up and center it on the door unit. The sill screen track, item 4, should be positioned at least 1 8 inch below the top of the door sill. After positioning the screen frame on the door opening and making sure the two screens meet up in the center correctly, screw the header screen track into the door frame using two number 8 by 1 1⁄2 inch screws, item 6B. 
screw in only two of the four number eight by one and a half inch screws because you may need to adjust the position of the screen unit to make sure the screen is square and level. Check again to make sure the sill screen track is below the door sill by at least one eighth inch. Once this is done, check again to make sure the screen is square and also make sure the screen is level. Next, test the retractable screen to make sure it opens and closes smoothly and easily without twisting. If it is not square and level or does not operate smoothly, adjust. Now screw the sill screen track, item four, to the door sill and the screen housings, items one and two, to the door jam. Add the rest of the number eight by one and a half inch screws, item 6B, to the header screen track and tighten. Finish by screwing the screen housing at each corner with number eight by two and a half inch screws. All screws should be securely fastened at this stage. Now snap in the header and sill screen track covered. Once complete, pop in the small screen housing circular screw covers, item seven, to cover each hole. Your retractable screen installation is now complete. For continued high performance, check from time to time to make sure the bottom track is clear of debris. In addition, occasionally apply a dry silicone spray to the top and bottom tracks to ensure smooth screen operation.